Hello, my name is Kishwani. This K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 220. Page 220, today is our lesson number 94. The problem that we are about to solve is number 14. Number 14, turn to page 220, make sure the book is in front of you and read the problem to yourself. Problem says, integer a is an even integer. A is an even integer. We are also told that b is an odd integer. And then we are given a whole bunch of quantities there. And our job is simply to indicate whether these quantities are odd or even. That's all. Let's begin then. The very first one is A. The very first one is A plus 2 times B. Well, what they're trying to see here, what they're trying to test here, the concepts that they're testing in this particular problem are the ones that we're going to put on the side here. Well, here's the first one. If you have an even number times an even number, for example, if you have 2 times 4, well, 2 times 4 is 8. Even times even is even. You don't have to memorize this thing, just figure it out like I just did. It only takes a second. 2 times 2 times 4 is 6. Uh, 2 times 4 is, well, it was 8 a second ago, it better not be 6. Anyway, it's an even quantity. Even times even is even. So here, 2 is even, 2 is even, and B we are told is, oh B is odd, damn it, B is odd, so let's figure out what even times R is, even number 2 times 3, 3 is an odd integer, 2 times 3 is 6, looks like even times R is even. So this quantity here, even times R, that is even, and then this quantity here, A, which is even. So even times even is even. That's it. Even times even is even. Let's go to the next one. 2 times A. 2 times A plus B. Again, 2 is even. A, we are told, is even. A, we are told is even. So, 2 times even, uh, even times even, this quantity is even, plus, now here it is plus. Oh, before it was also plus, sorry, I made a mistake. So, it's even, A is even, plus an even, even number, even, even plus even is still even, we haven't figured it out yet, let's do it here. So we have even times even, which is even, even times odd is odd. Let's figure out last one, which is odd times odd. 3 times 5, odd number, 3 times 5 is 15, which is also odd. So like I said, you don't have to memorize this thing, just do it out. It only takes one second. If you were to wake me up in the middle of the night and ask me what is odd times odd, I'll say, how the hell do I know? Just give me a second, I'll figure it out. Now we do the addition. Even plus even, well that's pretty straightforward, 2 plus 4 is 6, which is also even. Even plus odd, well let's see, even number 2 plus 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, so even plus odd is odd. And finally, odd plus odd, well, 3 plus 5. Just take two odd integers, add them up and see what happens. 3 plus, plus 5 is 8, which is even. That's it. And of course, we don't have to worry about, we did even plus even, we did odd plus even, uh, odd plus odd, and we did even plus odd, but we never did odd plus even, because it's the same as even plus odd. 2 plus 3, same as uh, 3 plus 4. Same thing here. We did even times even, we did odd times odd, and we did, then finally we did even times odd, which is same as odd times even. So you have to know these three and these three, that's all. 
So here 2 is even, A we are told is even, even times even is even, plus B which is odd. Plus B which is odd. So now even plus odd, what is even plus odd? Well let's see, uh, 2 plus 3 is 5 is odd. This quantity is odd. Second quantity is odd. Let's keep on moving. We are done with these two. I need the room. So I am going to have to erase it. It is odd. Let's, let's go on. Number 3. Number 3 simply says, oh, A times B, this is too straightforward. A times B, A is even times B, which is odd. Even times odd, even times odd, 2 times 3 is 6, which is even. Right here, even times odd is even. So this quantity is even. Let's do, the, let's do number 4. Ah, number 4 is uh, A raised to B. A raised to B. A raised to B. Let's plug in numbers here. A we are told is even, so let's plug in number here. Let's plug in 2 for A because it's even. And B we are told is R, so let's plug in 3 here. What's going to happen? 2 raised to 3 is simply 2 times 2 times 2. You got a whole bunch of even numbers, regardless of what this power is whether the power is 3 or 5 or 7 or, or 13, you basically have a whole bunch of even numbers being multiplied by themselves. And as long as you keep on going multiplying even numbers by itself, the result is going to be even. The result is going to be even. That's it. It doesn't matter what the exponent is going to be. It is going to be even. Number 5. Number 5 says a plus b a plus b squared a plus b squared a is uh, a is even plus b which is odd and even let's plug in number here 2 plus 3 which is 5 so this is an odd quantity so this is this is odd quantity inside which is being squared which is same as an odd quantity being squared is same as odd quantity by, uh, multiplied by itself. Obviously, that's what squared means. So, odd times odd, odd times odd. Well, odd times odd, 3 plus 7 is 21, which is uh, also odd right here. Odd, odd times odd is odd. So, that's it. That's our answer. This whole, so, so this whole entire quantity is odd. That's all. Odd times odd is odd. Last one, number six. A squared minus B squared. Well, let's see. A squared is even times even. Even times even. Even times even is even. Minus odd times odd. Odd times odd. Three times five is fifteen, which is also odd. You see every time, you see how I actually do it out even though it's written over there? I prefer not to look at it. I prefer just to do it out here. So here we have even minus odd. Even minus odd. And again, plug in some numbers here. 6 minus uh, 3 is going to give you 3. Even minus odd is odd. So this whole quantity is odd. Even minus odd is odd. Oh, we did that too. Subtraction. Oh, what the hell. It's, it's odd, as you can see here. Even minus odd is going to be odd. Even which is, uh, I plugged in 6, minus odd, I plugged in 3. 6 minus 3 is 3, which is odd. So that's it. The final quantity is odd. That's all. We're done. We're done with this particular problem. I'll see you in the next video where we'll do the very last problem on this page, which is number 15. And then we're going to start the algebra part, which is coming up. And we're going to spend a few days learning the algebra that we need to learn in order to prepare ourselves for the GRE. The algebra that you need to know for the GRE is not very advanced, but you do have to make sure that whatever rudimentary algebra that does appear on the exam, you have to make sure that it is at your fingertips, which is what we're going to do, you and I together. We're going to cover all the basic concepts that you must know. And if it turns out that if you're rusty on one of those topics, then that's your cue to later on work more on that particular topic. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, on day number 94. Alright? Bye now.